Hey everyone, this is Yom from Civil Raja, your gateway to future. So guys, today we are going to learn how we can make a curved jali in a SketchUp. So guys, we have already learned how we can make a straight jali. And if you have not learned that, then you can join our SketchUp batch. And for that, you can just call on this number 84332488864, where we will learn complete commands in this sketchup which will help us to make the interior and the exterior modeling okay so this is for the civil engineers and the architects the other branches can skip this course and now i am just going to focus on uh, like a jali okay so you can see we have seen a lot of jallies in our exterior work so you can see this is one of the example and this is another example which is a little complex one than the previous one so you can see we have also some gaps over here and these gaps will allow to the light to try and transfer through it okay so we can just go ahead with all such situations but for now we will start with a simple jali and after that we will give a shape to the next jali that is there also okay so you can see this is a rectangular jali and it is very easy to model over here so if needed we will do a little bit of the correction in this one as you can see we have lines over here so for that we will simply erase the lines and i think now it is perfect over here okay so to make a jali what we need first of all we need a, a like a jali over here to make a curved jali okay so first of all we need to uh, like uh, draw the design then we need to use the push pull tool either the simple push pull tool which you can uh, see over here or we can use the joint push pull which is over here so this which uh, made using the simple push pull tool and this one is made using the joint push pull tool so we can use all the options that is there with us and now what we need we need to define the shape over here so suppose i am going to uh, like use a curved shape for my jali so for that i am what going to draw a few lines so let's uh, draw a line from the bottom of this one mark this point that this is already in a group okay now i'm just going to draw a line over here so you can see i'm just drawing my line in the blue axis and to lock my axis i am just using the arrow keys so now i will again lock my axis and i will take a reference till here and then i will draw a line from here to here okay so i have drawn three different lines over here and now I have to simply divide this line. So to divide this line, what I have to do, I have to simply select it, then click on the divide option. Then I will simply select the three options over here. And now my lines are divided in three different parts as you can see over here. Okay, then what I need to do, I need to draw a curve. So that is again very much easy. I have to simply go to the two points. Then I will also lock the axis again. And then I will simply like uh, specify the distance or I can simply leave it like that. So let's specify the distance as seven inches in this situation. Then I will simply select the face and delete it. And now I have just this arc line over here. Okay, now to go for the movement, I can use my rotate tool and I am going for the polar array method. Okay, so polar array or polar array, whatever you want to call it, you can simply call it. Then you can simply lock your axis and then you can create a copy of it and simply place it over here. Then I'm just going to use the same uh, thing. That means the rotation tool and use it for the, the polar array method. And you can see it is very simple to do. And since all the arcs are equidistant, so I do not need to uh, like worry about the placement of the arcs. So you can see I have three different arcs over here, one, two, and three. And now I will simply weld the edges so that it is a continuous curved path over here. To do so, I'm just uh, like selecting all the things and then I'm right click. I will right click on the mouse and I will click on weld edges. And now if I'm selecting anywhere, the whole path is being selected. Okay, so this is one way to do things. Now, what you can do, I can simply draw another line from here. So you can see, I can simply pick a line. Okay, I need to be very like conscious when I'm doing so. So I will have to pick the line exactly from the point over here. And if you are using the Fluify, then you will have to pay sheer attention over here because a little mistake will uh, like uh, lead to the collapse of the all the plans that is over here. Okay, so now I can simply click on this one. Then I will simply make another copy of it and I will just place the copy over here. 
So this is very easy. Now I will go ahead and show you the hard part of it. Okay, so I'm just getting rid of these lines. Okay, so even if you are not getting rid of this lines, it is not an issue. But if you will get rid of this, then again you can draw it. That is again not an issue. Okay. So for now, I will just show you all the possibilities over here. So I am simply uh, like deleting the lines over there. Now you can see I will simply go to the curvy loft. So this is another extension which you can use to make your surface and if it is a curved surface then this is going to be very handy so you can see it is very easy to use if you want to select it then you can select it and you can also reverse the face of it so you can see now i am getting the whitish surface instead of a gray surface and now what i will do i will simply click uh, select the, all the things and then i will explode it and then i will select everything again and i will make it a group so you can see it is again very much easy for us to do so. So now the lines are also included in this group. Okay. Now what I need to do, I need to draw lines over here to create a surface. So I will just lock it in the blue axis and then I will go for a line at four fit. Okay. So I can just go for a line like this. Then I will simply lock my axis. I will take the reference, draw the lines. I will again lock the green axis, take the reference and draw the line. I will do the same in the red axis again and simply draw the line like this and then I will again do it like this. Then you can see I have a surface over here. Now I will double click on this surface so that the uh, face and the sides are selected and then I can simply make it a group. Okay, so this group is also very much important. Now I will have to draw another line which will be from this end point to this end point. And now I will individually select these two lines over here. And then I will also make them into a particular group. So on total, I have three groups. One, then this is the second one. And this is the third one. So these are the three groups over here. Now what I need to do, I need to select all the groups over here. And then I will make it another group. So to do so, I will simply right click and click on make group then i will go to the extension and to check whether flowify will work or not so i will just go to the flowify and click on impose grid so if you will see that a grid is there as you can see here we have a grid then definitely it is going to work if this grid will not be created then be sure that you have made some mistake in your uh, like model okay now what i need to do this is one group this is another group so i need to place this group on this one so for that, I will simply click on the move tool. I will grab the bottom point and okay. Before that, I will simply make a copy of this group so that I can use it for another jelly. If you are having just one jelly, then you do not need that. But I have another one also to pro uh, process over here. So I will simply place it over here. Okay. Now you can see this is one group. This is another group. Okay. Now I will simply move this to the top of the group that is there in the bottom okay so now what we have this is first group this is second group i am just selecting both the items over here and then i will click on the extension then click on full flowify and again flowify and you can see it will take some time and then a group or, or you can say a curved jali will be created at the bottom so you can see this is how it is going to work now i'm just going to move this one this will again be in a group so you can simply use it conveniently now i'm just going to have a closer look on this one so you can see the grids are also visible over here okay so i do not want these grids so to get rid of that all you have to do is to go to the soften edges in the default tray and over there i will simply just check and uncheck the processes and then you can see it is a very smooth and surface over here for the curved jelly. If I will apply any color on this one, then you, you can have a clear look of this one. You can see how smooth it is. And it this technique will help you to create a jelly which is curved. Okay, now just for the example, I will simply repeat the process so that you can have a clear view of this one. So this is the jelly. This is the another uh, like uh, group over here which is having a surface, a path, and then the shape in which I want to like uh, bend this jelly. Okay, so I will now go to this one. I will click on my move tool. I will grab the bottom point and then I will 
place it on the top of the jali that is placed over here. So you can see I'm placing it just above it. So for that, just uh, let's grab the point. Come to this one and okay, okay, okay. Just this and then just stay at a little distance. This is giving me a hard time, guys. Yeah. Now it is placed properly. Okay. So it may take some time to place it like this. Now you can see I have two different groups over here and I'm going to select everything. Then I will go to the extension. Then I will go to the Flowify and here it is Flowify. So now it will take some time, a few seconds over here and it will create a curved jolly over there. And then you can also just move that jolly uh, like at some other place and then you can use that in the studio portion guys if you have uh, find this interesting then you can simply hit the like button you can also share this video with your friends and you can share a uh, like subscribe to our channel if you are new to this one okay and if you have uh, like uh, thought that this uh, channel is going to be helpful for you then you can also press the press, uh, bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I am uploading a new video over here. Okay. So guys, you can see this is the another Jali that you, we can see over here and we can simply just uh, smoothen the surface by checking this options and you can see how smooth it is and even our gaps and everything that is also present over here. So there is no like false modification over here. However, uh, in your first attempts, so like first few attempts, so you may find that there is some kind of glitch over there, but that will come with to you after practice. Okay. So I have already practiced this command a lot. So I'm just working smoothly on it, but uh, in the beginning, you may find some difficulties, but if you want my personal guidance, then you can simply go ahead and call on this number 84332488864. Enroll yourself for the for a professional training. The charges are nominal. So you can just make a career in the SketchUp by mentoring, by getting the mentoring by me. And I am Om and I'm signing out for now. Thank you guys. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.